cut through there. Can I? We'll see. Oh, almost. Yes, we can. Good enough. Good enough. Building highways. It's not really science. At least not in this not in this world. Not after civilization has fallen. Specialist ready. Alright, let's send her. Send her on up here. And we'll have her explore over in this area. And he can take the right side. What if he can grab all those at once? Oh, they can only get 50. Alright. So. Who was quacking at me? Three constructions completed, right. Okay. I wonder how many they'll get per day. food here. Consumption is a little bit higher, but let's see once we start getting our fishing huts up and going. Hmm. Did I do infection? Oh, I didn't have anybody in the, in the, uh, my bad. I should, I probably should have somebody in there all the time. Uh, yeah, my, my fault. Sorry, Grace. Small group at the gate. A ragged bunch are our last hope. Uh, a ragged bunch shuffles tor slowly towards the gate. Their clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dried blood. One of them pleads, Our caravan was torn to shreds by effing bandits, and we got no place to go. Could you please help us? We'll give every little bit we ha have left for some medicine or shelter. Welcome the group in and alert the medic. Four colonists. Leave the group medicine and wish them well. Mm. Or decline their plea. We got quite a bit of medicine. I don't really want to take on anybody else at this moment. I could probably use them, though. Send them out the gathering berries and things like that. Let's bring them on. And, oh, oof, I don't know. Could make another hunting cabin. Let's just give them Madison. Send them on our way. Okay, you're most kind, the leader says, and offers what little they had in return. Their part of the exchange is meager and hardly proper payment for their va for valuable medicine. So we got six potatoes, three jackets, and four minus four medicine. I was like, did they give us our medicine right back? <laughs> no, four medicine minus four medicine. So we got some seeds at least. Okay. Depleted berries. All right. So let's see here. Got three more berries left there, and then we'll move. Um. Fourteen carriers, nine adults, or nine workers. Twenty-three adults, two children. All right, let me see how these fishing huts are doing up here. So we have a couple. How are these doing? Oh, we have a dead body. That's not good. Let's uh staff that and <laughs> get rid of the dead body. There they go. Taking the dead body in there. And there it is. Okay, good. I think we're good. We don't need to have anybody in there to watch over the dead body. over here. Oh, still doing alright. This one. Yeah, we're still, no, still doing okay there too. And that one's doing just fine. No worries at all. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Let's move our berry work area. It's not very berry right now. What else we can find? I got two up there. That's a long way to walk, though. Goodness. Got 
three over here. Let's go for it. Send them. Poor people. They gotta walk so far. We are running low on food. I got I got fish going. I got two areas. Oh, that's a forester. Hold on. Where's my other trapper at? Didn't I have another trapper? I thought I had another trapper. Yeah, I did up here. Didn't I? Yeah. It's four. I think what I'll do here is I'll actually put... Stand by. I'll put a food storage area right here so that they don't have to travel so far and leave their um, that? there it is they don't have to leave their uh, work areas so I can do that and we got two up here so how about if I put it like right here that might be really good yeah that might be a good spot right there and then people could come to, from the village and grab what they need that might actually expedite things and improve production Let's see I don't know uh, at least I can gather more berries from here too so that's one other bonus four per day two per day build one more fishing hut here efficiency that's pretty good down to one food that's not good we were doing so well okay we're storing some fish here that's good so three a day four a day two a day I wonder if it's because they're overlapping We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Construction started, so we're going to have like a bunch of fishing and a couple trapping. Waiting for a worker. I wonder if I need to put... Maybe I need to put like a house nearby too for these people to live in. You know, the work so, uh, you know, like walk so far. Here we go. I think I'll live here and get to work real quick. See if that speeds up production as well. Scarlet's now an adult. We'll get to it. Go, go do some fishing for us, Scarlet. Go away. I'm gonna pretend to go away. No, go away. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. No. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, we were up to three there for a second. What's our production at now? Sixteen. Hmm. I don't know. More trapping. Let's see here. I'm not sure. Nice foresty area is what we need. See what it is, yes. It's too much overlap. Hmm. Well, where can we put this thing? Oh, that's a good spot.
I don't know what else we can do to get food. Honestly, I don't have any research points. Okay, let's get these guys back to work. Gotcha. Okay, and where are you at? Over here? No, where'd you go? Yeah, there you are. Find me some science points. No, don't find me more bad guys to fight. Wasteland nomads, so we can get some parts from him, basically. Okay, we're gonna go explore some of these other areas. Again, I don't want her fighting. Oh, let's get somebody in there before she dies. She's probably gonna die. Did she die? Oh, no. She's being treated. Good, she made it there in time. I need to just keep a doctor on staff all times, otherwise I'm gonna forget and people are gonna die again. I'm so forgetful about their needs. Coats, not what I want. I'm gonna check this one down here, see if we can find research points. Oh, hold on, I still got, forgot I got had a second, uh, second guy now, that second specialist. Pills. Yeah, we'll go for that. Some iodine pills. Nice. Uh-oh, nuclear fallout. Horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green. Air seems to burn your lungs. We've uh, already read this before, so we'll skip that. We know it's coming. So we'll get our medical tents all fully staffed. We got zero... Wait, we got some medicine. Yeah, we got some antibiotics. We don't have iodine. But we're about to get some iodine. So maybe we can do that and get it back here before... You know, the fallout hurt, uh, hits us. Group of survivors arrived at the gates. Let's talk to them. Another, another specialist. He's a scout. So we got two child, or two adults, one child. They're bringing some food and electronic component and some jackets. Okay. He's a trailblazer who's known, knows how to get around in thick forests and uncharted trails. Surviving through long scouting missions is not a problem. He'll gladly hunt for food when needed. He sticks around other people if he has to. But you won't be able to hold his interest for long. Okay, interest uh, leadership one, exploration four, attack three. So he's my fighter now. Research two, scavenge three, recovery three. He's pretty good. I'm gonna take him for sure. Let's take us. Let's take us some freaking food. Okay, our specialists are ready for action. Or that one guy is at least. Okay. Uh, I need you to go down here and kick this guy's mm, behind. So go handle that. I don't know, it's supposed to reveal some stuff, so maybe we get some intelligence and it like reveal, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Never, never fought like a bandit leader type guy before. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, there we go. Specialist already again. Let's see how he does. He should, should win. Yeah, he can deal more damage. Doesn't have much for defense, but. Alright, so he got hurt a little bit, but this guy's, yeah, it took half his health. So, oh, stand by. Go get them iodine pills. Ah, he got blown up a little bit. That's okay. He'll return back with those iodine pills. So, he only got seven of them, so he's going to need to go back in again. Oh, yeah, and we have Orca. We need to. Have her take a peek over here. Another bandit leader. Whoa. Some more tools, huh? Okay. Okay. Dangerous. Dangerous world we live in, I guess. A lot more bandits just to go around. Playing uh, playing on the normal difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit different. Let's see here. Okay, those are all good. Uh, okay, that one's... Yeah, we need to uh, move work area. So where can I go? Okay, you can go over here. Get your plastic from over there now. How are you doing? Yep, you're still getting yours from up here. Good. All right. Everything else looks all right. Five per day. Good, good. We're, our production is really close to our consumption at this point. See how he does. Is anybody going to come in here and start working? 
I don't care if you hunt at night. I don't have any any restrictions. There's no hunting laws. Wildlife laws that say you can't hunt at night. Go for it. Four a day, three a day. So it did go up. It went, it went up from two a day to three a day. So I think maybe that was a good move for us. All right, we'll see. Let's have her go down here. Check on this area. What the? Why would I want? What are those? Freaking cockroaches or cricket? They're crickets. Is that a delicacy in my world now? Is that what's what's happened? Oh no. Kick that guy's butt, please. Finish him off. There we go. Did he just bow to him? Ah, oh, nice. 711. I love it. Good job. Dude, that was really good. Oh, he blew himself up again. I guess I'm wrong about that. I thought it was just the first time. Maybe on the normal difficulty, that isn't how it plays out. So, you gotta run, return him back to the colony for him to heal. Kind of want to go for these last three iodine pills, but I'll wait. We'll get him back. Yeah, we'll get him back. Okay. Here comes the nuclear fallout. Maybe if we lose a couple to the nuclear fallout, they won't blame me, and then we won't, won't have as many mouths to feed, feed out. Is that wrong of me? I think it probably is wrong of me to say that. So, go hunt some glowing majestic deers wild boar Forster is starting to build this place up a little bit isn't it colonists found something one of the colonists rushes towards you he says there's someone spot spotted an abandoned wagon not too far from here it's covered with a tarp so they couldn't tell what's inside there are footprints around it but no one could tell where they lead the colonists want to go search the wagon in case there's something valuable inside in it Search the wagon, yeah, but, but arm the colonists with tools. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Small group of colonists ventures out to search the wagon. It takes them a while, but eventually they return. The wagon was only carrying a small amount of supplies, but that's not the worst of it. It had to be pushed through a radiated zone, and a few colonists are already showing signs of radiation sickness. Two colonists have radiation sickness, and we got two tools and 11 scrap metals. Okay, fair enough. All right, stand by. Let's add some doctors. All doctors on deck. Specialist ready? Go get us some science. Good job. You didn't even blow yourself up like some other people I know. How many times? Man, he's going to have to go in a lot. Eh, just head on back. Uh, I don't know what these are. Go get them. Whatever these things are. Yeah, they're crickets. That's exactly what they're. Okay, so I got all the crickets. Uh, I guess I return home with those because I'm guessing they're food or they really help with fishing. Again, worms, crickets. These are all things that we can use for fishing, but hey. What do I know? At least we're... Yeah, we're coming up with... A little bit of food here. It's still a little bit of a deficit. We're trying. Oh yeah, you know what I can I can do? I can start researching um hazmat and wait, wait, wait. Where's the No, that's not what I want. Food. Basic farming. Yes. Please. Unfortunately we're in the middle of a freaking fallout, so can't plan anything yet. And we have to wait for the crops to grow. All right, next time, definitely research farming before anything else. Let those people be tired. It's better than dying of starvation, right, guys? Eight colonists irradiated. Oh, boy. It's more than I can handle, but maybe we'll get these people treated pretty quick. Get in there. Get in there. It's your turn. Hey. Mm -hmm. Isabella, get in there. 
What are you doing? Stop chatting. Get in there. Get treated. I can't help us. But she's going to die. So it's her fault. It's not my fault. It's completely her fault. Get on back here. With those crickets. And you get back with the medicine. And you keep gathering me some of that sweet, sweet science points. Alright. Some of those. Okay. It's taking them a while to grab them. <laughs> it's not so good at this. Okay. And I'll tell you what, if a couple people die, probably actually would be good for our balanced food budget. Ten colonists are ready. Basic farming completed. Nice. Uh, consider yourself fortunate to have so much food that that doesn't seem like where, where I'm at right now. Pack tactics. Oh yeah, we can do that. Big game hunting. Work slots plus one. Work slots plus one. We can really up our... Yeah, let's do this one first. We can up our trapper game. Come on, get in there, docs. What are you guys doing? Can't go home. You gotta treat these folk. Much needed melodies. To celebrate their achievements and ease their disappointments, the colonists would like to prepare a feast. We don't have any food. We'll take some resources, which we don't have. I have to refuse it, but a proper celebration would certainly bring the queen together. I have to refuse it. You can see the colonists' eyes dim a bit as you slap down their request. Further explanation about the resource management and promises. Arranging something in the future did not seem to be much help. It's like you had just told a group of kids that all holidays were canceled. Oh, that's too bad. We'll just have to deal with it. Specialist ready. Oh, he blew himself up that time. Not so good. Get yourself in there. We bring bring back the food. Yeah, we got some more food. Look at that. Just one turn too late, though. I should have waited until I brought them back, and then I should have looked at that request. I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know they were going to ask for that. She she's ready to go. Yeah, she's empty-handed, so she's ready to go again. That's quick. All right, let's head on. Have her head on down this way. Everybody else is. Oh, you know what? We got the food here. Let's have her go here. Yeah, that's jer jerky, not cloth, like I keep thinking it is. All right, we'll have them go grab that food and bring it back. Where's that going to? Where's this work area? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, hold on. We need, we need to switch that up a little bit. All right, we made it through. Pack tactics complete. Basic farming, we can get started on that. Let's get our farms laid out here. Where do we want to put it? Somewhere in the green, I'm guessing. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe like down in this area. Well, maybe over here. It's a water area. That can, that's gotta be pretty good. Yeah, let me put a couple farms down here. As long as it doesn't screw with our wells. If it does, we'll build a well somewhere else. But uh, yeah, let's get the farms been going here. We can put them right across the dang road. Look at that. I guess you can have one person plant all these seeds and then harvest them and do, so you basically have one person work three different plots or more. Um, they just stay busy with them. So what we need to do is wait for a builder. Okay. And then, oh yeah, we wanted to up our trapper game. Uh, that's tenement. We got five people living in there. Check it out. Check that out. Three per day, four per day. Okay. 
I think our I think our food troubles are gonna disappear here shortly. I think I got all my trappers taken care of now, I think. Okay. Should be good. Double check, I wanna make sure I don't have any points that are about to get wasted. Okay, good. Oh, you know what we can do? We can do some more research though. Like, for example, get this car going. Do frontier outposts. We haven't found any friendly cities yet. And then we'll work on motorization. Okay. Select. Do corn. Oh, it's soybeans. That's what that was. Potatoes. Do corn here. And we'll do... Yeah, soybeans and potatoes. Potatoes. Are all of them are ready. Nope, he's still idle. Okay. Try not to blow yourself up again. That was much better. Go grab this food. Then you're going to return that back and we're going to have a, an abundance of food while our crops grow. Yeah, it's going to be alright. It's going to be fine. I reckon we're going to be just fine. Some nice, much needed rain. Let's plant those, some soybeans. We got a little bit of everything here. I'll see how three fields go. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I can have her there. I guess we can have more than one person working, can't we? Sure. We'll just leave it like that. I know you can probably just use one to use, to work all these fields, but like she's she's no longer. Is it already planted? He's planting the seeds. He's planting the seeds. I think she's done. Okay. Yeah, we know about outposts. Outposts work as drop-off points for the resources for your specialists your, your specialists have gathered. Be careful when placing an outpost depot because dem demolishing it will get rid of the outpost in the world map too. So, <laughs> I see what you're saying. All right. Okay. No more left there? Okay, you got them all. Good for you, man. Good for you. All right, head on over here and check out this area. Another bandit with some medical kits. We have a lot of medical kits, but they're good for trading. A lot of people seem to want those um, when it comes to trading. There's a lot of bandits up here. We still need to explore these areas, but she needs to get back with the beef jerky. He's still in... Oh, he's still healing. That's, the, that's what it is. All right. She's ready to go again. Send her down here. Are you done? No, they're still watch and see if there's any progress there. Like if they get done and wander off, then I'll if there's no activity here, I'll get rid of them. Addison's infected. Okay, that's fine. We have a couple doctors there. We'll get rid of one. Get rid of these two. Those two. So we have one doctor. Here we go. Six per day. I think our, our production's up to 32. Consumption's down to 22. So yeah, we're in, we're in good shape now. Finally. Oh my gosh. I was a bit worried there for a second. Nice, more research points. 587, oh, I love you. And 0% chance of injury. Ah, so good. Okay, you're still, oh yeah, you're tip top. Um, are you my tough guy? No, you're not. Yeah, okay, um, I'll put you over. You can go grab some more of these pills, and then we'll. Yeah, we're doing pretty good with meds. Let's see here. Where's my other guy? 
There we go. He's my tough guy. I guess I want you to fight this guy. What do they have? I can't remember. Hold on. Let me take a look here. 35 med kits. Yeah. I think it's worth it. Yeah, he's going to be down here. Not too distant future. He's hurting. Life's going pretty good up in here. Let's see here. So now the field, nothing's going on in the fields right now. Oh, you don't have a coat? It looks. Let's get rid of her. Him. Him. And I think it should grow automatically. We'll keep an eye on it because we can see it's starting to grow. We'll see what happens. We're getting good rainfall. This one's sort of in an area that isn't the best. Yield six. Yield six. Yield three. Hmm. If we harvest now. See what happens with the fields. Kind of curious. Whoop that guy's butt. Yeah, finish him off. Good on you, brother. Minor victory. I don't know. Should we, what do they got? Metal. But plenty of metal. Probably not worth it. Let's have her go get research points. You can you start exploring up? You no, three eyed. I could get, I could have him jump off after that. So yeah, you can jump off and start exploring these regions. I guess that'll work. That'll work. Now I wonder if if I leave these un, unattended, they'll if they'll continue to grow or if they're just going to sort of stagnate. I don't know. Maybe they need like constant love. Maybe. I don't know. Oh! Oh, okay. I thought it disappeared for a second. Freaked me out. <laughs> it was the fog that came in. <laughs> it looked like it disappeared. I was like, no! What'd you do? Don't start over. Yeah, the corn's getting taller. I don't think we really needed three people, but it is what it is. Group of survivors arrived at our gates. Let's see what they got. Two adults, zero children. So they bring 14 steaks, three meds. All right. On my knees, I'm begging you with all I got. We both have good soul. Surely you can see that, please. Have mercy on your kin. Yeah, we'll take them. We can probably use them for farming and things like that now that we can farm. So I might actually... Let's see how this yields. How much... Yeah, we're still doing okay. Ouchie. Poor guy for three, three iodine pills. I think he blew himself up every time he reached into that place to grab those pills. But I kept sending them in. Grab as many of these meds. That's going to take you about six turns, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Alright. So be it. So our stores are full, huh? Stockpiles are full. That one needs to be moved. Yeah, hit that area. Looks pretty good. You, yeah, you need to be moved as well. Even though we're full. There we go. Nah, I'll probably put up another warehouse. Let's see here. Food and construction resources can't be stored here. Okay, we'll add another one. And I'm not going to sign anything. That's just going to be for storage. Because I think that just needs to be another drop-off point. So right now we have like three people running around. At least three. Yeah, three carriers at least running around there. So not too worried about that. Food storage, seven. This one's probably got quite a bit more, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. It does. That was a, probably a good move, I think. Uh, I can move my work area on this one too. I can actually sign somebody to start gathering berries, I guess. I don't really need to. 
want to go too far. Might be better off. Okay, let's just have them grab these two berries up here. And once they get done with that, I'll probably just leave that vacant. And uh, I'd rather have them do farming. Majestic? Yes, a majestic deer. Alright, how's everybody doing here? Tired, well rested. Well rested. It's a overwhelming majority. So, I'm be happy with that. And let's get our tech tree going. I've been negligent on that, I know. Wasting time. That's okay. Eventually we'll run out of those resource points. We'll be waiting anyway. But at least we're finding some more as we speak. Okay, you get down there, grab that, and you... Where are you at? There you are. He's kind of pissed at me, you can tell. What? Oh! Oh, I thought I was going to get an airplane. I was all excited. Oh, man. I was so excited. I was like, ooh. Things are about to get all kinds of... <laughs> dominant up in this region. Alright, so we're just going to get scrap metal from it. Oh, well. Looks dangerous. It's got two skulls filled in. 33% chance of injury. But a lot of metal, so we're going to go for it. But, uh, yeah. What I am going to do right now is go ahead and uh, go back here. Pause the game. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode of Surviving the Aftermath. It's been a lot of fun. And I think we're doing pretty good. Y'all take care.